What's up, Red Squad, guys? Yes! Yes! Man United have lost. Thank God. Thank you, Newcastle, man. Thank you very much. Match day 27 of the English Premier League 2017-2018 season. Another reaction from your boy, Dominic Rich. Newcastle United, who started this game in 18th, played Manchester United, started the game second. 56 points. Man, um, Newcastle started on 25 points. They won the game 1-0. They now go up to 13th, all the way from 18th to 13th. They have escaped the drop zone temporarily. Remember, Newcastle is a team that got promoted last season, got relegated the season before. So they're playing around with the drop zone a little bit. But Rafa Benitez, man, experienced coach, he should avoid the drop. But Jose Mourinho, man, disappointing performance by Manchester United, to say the least. They are stuck on second, and they're giving teams like Tottenham, Chelsea, Liverpool a chance to overtake them. You know, as the fight for the top four, the Champions League places heat up. So um, this is the first home win for Newcastle since October. So that was uh, that's a that's a beautiful achievement, man. I must say. Let me turn that radio down. That's a great achievement by Newcastle United. And before this, Rafa Benitez have only beaten a Jose Mourinho side on one occasion. So he go two up on Mourinho now. And Man United they won the reverse fixture. 4-1. So, this is sweet revenge for the Magpies. Martial, early in the game, he had a one-on-one -on -one with Dubrovka, their new keeper, and he saved it. He looked good throughout the game, and he is possibly man of the match. One of the man of the matches, with, along with John Joe Shelby, who was a pivotal player on the Newcastle team. In the 65th minute, this is where the game turned on his head. Manchester United, they were bossing most of the possession. Newcastle were just trying to, you know, just trying to stay in the game, and they did so. But in the 65th minute, or maybe around the 63rd minute or so, Smalling. Chris Smalling, you have to be responsible for this goal because no reason diving in your own half. Why are you diving for a free kick in your own half? You shouldn't even be diving in the first place. So, John Joe Shelby was, I think, tackling him, and he pulled out of the tackle, but Chris Smalling, who was expecting uh, contact, he went down. Give away a free kick in his own half, and that resulted in the Newcastle set piece, which was taken by John Joe Shelby. It was put into a very, very dangerous position. I think it was headed down by Les Cells. I might be um, wrong, but it landed on Dwight Gale's feet and he just set it up really nice for Matt Ritchie who had like the whole day to put that past the hair. He made it 1-0 for Newcastle. I was actually celebrating as a neutral and as a Man City fan, I was actually celebrating, jumping for joy. I really, really enjoyed that goal. Paul Pogba was then taken off along with Jesse Lingard, I think. And um, Michael Carrick made his first appearance of the season and one matter came on as well. You know, Martial, he had another brilliant chance, but it was blocked twice by the Newcastle defense as they just kept themselves, barely kept themselves in the game. Man United had another chance late in injury time when Michael Carrick's flick on was saved by Dubrovka again. And, you know, what a season he is having right now and it's actually just started he just moved in the january transfer window and he is a newcastle hero already they must love him and he have a beautiful name dubrovka you know so as i said my man of the match you, you could say dubrovka and john just shelby will share the spoils for man of the match ayosa perez he was really good modiame was really good um, Dwight Gale, not as potent as he was last season in the championship, but he was really good. And the captain, Lascelles, as well. The team as a whole was really, really good. And I'm glad that they got past Man United. I was, I saw a Man United fan this morning. I always talk to him, you know. I asked him, what's his take on the game? What's his prediction? He said 3-0. Three. Three 
They can't put any pastors. Well, take that in your face, boy. Take that in your face. So City now stays 16 points ahead of Manchester United. And I'm loving it. Give up already, Mourinho. Give up already, Man United fans. It's over. There's no title race going on. Only 11 matches left. It's hard to um, fathom Manchester City actually giving up a lead like that. Like I, I can't really uh, visualize that. It ain't going to happen. It definitely ain't going to happen. And this is the fifth loss of the season for Manchester United. They have now dropped 25 points for this season. That's a lot of points to drop, man. That's that's not good. That's not good at all. They play Sevilla next, I think, in the Champions League. And mm, Sevilla, please do me a favor, okay? Okay? But <laughs> I don't mean to piss off the Man United fans. But guys, man, I really enjoy when Manchester United lose. And I had to do a reaction for this. I'm currently at work. I watch the game, you know. But um, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you click the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. And until next time, I'd like to say peace out and rich squad. I might watch that Liverpool versus Southampton game. I might watch it. Stay tuned.